I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, we got to talk about another big-time running back, Nathaniel Palmer, out of the state of Texas once again. And look, we got to talk about him because there were so many people. I did a video on Tatum, Tatum the other day, um, big-time four-star running back out of Longview, Texas. So many people said, Jay, what about what about Nathaniel Palmer? And I said, look, I like him as well. Um, they said, well, look, who do you pick? Who do you pick out of those two? If you had a choice, Nathaniel Palmer or um, uh, Taylor Tatum. And look, really, honestly, I don't like to pick when you're talking about recruiting these guys because I think they're two different styles of running backs. Um, and, and I'm going to just kind of leave that right there. But I think they both add something um, to, to this class. And so, look, I, I want to take them both. That's my honest opinion. But uh, we want to take a look at them, just kind of compare these two. Uh, I, I did a video on Taylor Tatum yesterday so now i'm gonna shout out to my man Corey. Corey said look jay can you do a video on nathaniel palmer he's a beast man he's fast super fast super explosive we're gonna take a look at him real quick take a look at his information and see exactly who he is um listen everybody come on make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that share button and let's take a look at this information real quick this is running back out of the state of texas decatur texas um nathaniel palmer let's take a look at him real quick let's go these are the numbers for Nate Palmer, and as you see here, man, this is absolutely ridiculous. When you're talking about putting up the numbers for one single year, District 4, 4A, Offensive MVP, 2,250 rushing yards. Uh, All-purpose yards, 2,704 yards, all-purpose yards. 34 touchdowns for Nate Palmer. Uh, it's crazy. That is that. That's really crazy right there. Um, Nate Palmer is a he's a four star rated by on three. Um, five foot ten, 180 pounds, Decatur, Texas. And look, I'm gonna give you the different ratings. Uh, I think I think uh, on three has him as a four star. 24/7 Sports has him as a a three star. On three has him as a 19 running back overall, number 50 in the state of Texas player wise. And then 24-7 uh, Sports has a number 49 overall number uh, running back-wise, and then number 97 in the state of Texas. ESPN has him as a four-star, number 24 running back overall, and number 48 in the state of Texas. Uh, Rivals has him as a three-star, 37 overall, number 91 in the state of Texas. Uh, yeah, number 91 in the state of Texas, number 37 running back. So, look, uh, I think he's a consistent four-star um, when you look at it. And, uh, look, we're going to take a look at his information. We're going to take a look at him and see how explosive he is as a running back and see exactly how he moves and grooves. Let's go. All right, so here's going to be a clip of Nate here. You see him going up the middle here, and you see him that burst right there. I believe this was a state championship right here, but you see he just totally dipped out, man. His speed is um, it's next level. I mean, he has a burst. He hits the hole. Um, you guys hit me, tell me what you think about him. Just look at his cutting ability. Once he's out, he's out. I mean, there's nothing they can do about it. I mean, they're not catching Nate Palmer um, once he gets out. So I want to know, what do you guys, how do you compare him? What is his style do you compare it to? You see him here to cut on a dime like that, and he's able to get out. Like I said, 5'10", 180 pounds. Um, you guys hit me in the comments. You guys let me know what you think. And you see him here, man. I mean, he hits the hole. He identifies the he, – he recognizes the hole and sees it, and then he's out. He's kind of a one-cut guy. He's not a whole lot of just jiggling and wiggling around. You'll see him here. And there he is. Man, once he hits, once he hits it, it it's, I mean, it's pretty much over, man. Um, you guys hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. Uh, Nate Palmer is a big time running back and you see him here. He's going to be on kick return here and he's going to get kind of loose on this one as well. I sure would like to know what his 40 time is because it seems like everybody he's, he's pulling away from these guys and they're not even trying to come close. Um, Nate Palmer is a explosive guy. 
Check them out here. <laughs> it always looks like nobody's even close to, to him, man, once he makes that initial cut, that first cut. And you see him here playing a little receiver. And he gets out, man. So, look, you guys see me in the comment section. What are you guys' thoughts on Nate Palmer? How do you compare him um, as far as running back? He's getting ready. There, there's that cut right there. How do you compare him to other running backs that we've seen so far? And uh, what do you, who do you compare him to? Maybe even some USC great. Who do, who do you compare him to? Hit me in the comments. Let me know. All right. Is it go time or is it go time? Is it on the popping or is it on the popping? Listen, you guys hit me in the comment section. Um, whose style do you like better? I like them both. I'm not going to separate them, uh, either one, Tatum and uh, uh, Palmer. I'm not going to do that. But I love both of them. I love their style. I think they both have something to add as well as Brian Jackson. I think he's a power back. So, look, man, you guys hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. Nate Palmer, as you guys can see, he is an absolute speedster. You see the numbers. The numbers are absolutely ridiculous when you're talking about running back numbers, man. I mean, this guy put up the numbers on the year. The proof is in the pudding, man. So, look, it's go time with him. It's on and popping. It's on and cracking. Tater Tatum, Bo, and Nate Palmer, and Brian Jackson. Listen, let's get them all. We could possibly have... I believe, if I'm not mistaken, somebody get me on this. Hit me if I'm wrong on this. Three running backs to possibly leave. I think Barlow. Barlow just graduated. Uh, Austin Jones just graduated, and then possibly Marshawn Lloyd could get up out of here. We could have three running backs gone. So you know what that means? That means look. Let's take all three of them, man. It's go time. So look, man. You guys hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe. You guys already know where you can find me. And listen, everybody, stay blessed. And look, don't forget. Make sure you get up, get out, and make some things happen. Until later on, fight on, fight on, fight on.